here we are again at our food video today we're back to beyond meat we tried what was the other one gardines I think gardines i think last time this time we're back to try and beyond meat and we really like their beast burgers so now we're going to try their ground uh, beef yeah their ground beef alternative or in your um minced meat alternative this thawed pretty quick left it in the fridge for just a little while and, and it it thawed out i mean it's cold but it's it's thawed enough to actually put in the pan okay and do you think it should have been thawed before cooking or, or like the other uh, one should have been frozen well if it's frozen it's in this big huge chunk Right. And yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to burn the outside of a big, huge chunk of of food. Yeah. So especially since it just says to saute until warm. Yeah. And we're gonna be eating this with some homemade tortillas. I have the little dough balls there. All right. We actually had a couple of those last night and they're really tasty. So it smells see. like spices. Let me have a quick look in there. It looks interesting, doesn't it? It does. It looks like ground beef. It does. It looks like ground beef with cheese or something. Mmm. It smells meaty. That smells really beefy. It smells beefy. It smells more spicy than beefy to me. Yeah. It smells really nice, yeah. It looks like they just took the Beast Burger and chopped it up, but... <laughs> well, probably. You know, it would be the same meat. Yeah. So, it'll, we'll, we'll see now how it turns out. Would it sizzle? That warm up. We, uh... I use just a tablespoon of Crisco. I don't want to use olive oil because I don't want to introduce any other flavors into competition with the meat, and the olive oil has a definite flavor all its own. Yeah. Definitely want to give Beyond Meat the full, you know, the full guest option. It is all about you, beef. All about you. Mm-hmm. I'm really looking forward to trying this one. Yeah, I mean, if the price went down just a little bit, the mm -hmm. price is always a factor. This could it easily is. replace, um, you know, the ground beef for tacos yeah. that we use. Okay, there we go. Ooh, there's a nice scissor. Yeah. I'm not going to do the whole package. And it said just to saute, so I'm not looking for an enormous amount of, you yeah. know, the... Yeah, sauce and just, you know, Yeah, it just heat bit. it up. Yeah. Because it's cooked already, so... Wow, the smell off it is. Mm-hmm. It's really nice. This is a much bigger smell than the beef burgers had. The beef yeah. burgers. You actually get, I mean, it looks like a small pack. Now it's, it's smelling, now it's a, smelling a lot beefier. Once it warms up, it, that's a beefy smell. That is a beefy smell, yeah. I'm surprised at the amount that's actually in it. I mean, it, it looks like quite a small packet, but the no. The package there's... says 11 ounces, and yeah. we're supposed to be eating, um, you know, like uh, maybe three ounces each of meat. But that's that's red but that's, meat. But that's yeah. that uh, yeah, like three ounces of meat um, per person with other stuff. But we're mm -hmm. just having this, so you know, I didn't cook the whole package. Yeah. We could have some. Uh, well, I suppose. No, no, no. I mean, I just want to have this and the tortillas, and that should be okay. Yeah, because okay, we, yeah, we really just want to be able to taste it. 
it does kind of stick, stick to the pan a little bit. Same as the other. But it's not, it's not bad because I'm keeping it on a low heat. Yeah. Because it just says to saute, not fry. And just, yeah, and just make sure to give it a stir. And the smaller pieces definitely look like ground beef. Yeah, they the do. The bigger pieces have that white coating, and I can see some little, little pieces of spice or mm -hmm. veg. The red, yeah. the red piece right there, that could be a bell pepper or um, flake of paprika or something. It is almost done. Yeah. Well, this takes much less time than beef. It does not produce the amount of oily fat that you have to drain off. Mm-hmm. Tastes like? It's not quite like the yeast burger, but it is definitely beefy. It tastes a little spicier. Yeah. The texture is great. The texture is fan freaking tastic. Cool. Just, just like ground beef. Go ahead and you try some. Okay. Oh, that's wow! When you dig into it, it's just like beef. Mm. There's, there's a nice spice to it. Not hot spice, it's just spicy. Texture is perfect. I think maybe the texture works better for the ground beef crumble than it does for the burger. Yeah. Right. Because that slightly gelatinous, you know, works for ground beef so well. Yeah. Yeah, it's slightly off, but not much. Yeah, I mean, for ground beef, it totally works. Yeah. Okay. Will we um, make the tortillas? Yes. It's going to take a while to roll them out. Okay, we'll see you back when we have those tortillas made. Or we're cooking them. Okay, so back again. And then just preparing the tortillas. My weirdly shaped tortillas. Nice. starting to puff. Cool.
not quite the traditional way of making tortillas, but it works. It does. And stir the crumble. That smells really nice. It does. It smells fantastic. That thing and it actually does smell beefy. <laughs> it does. In a, you know, beefy in a bisto kind of way. Bisto gravy granules, kind of yeah. like that. Most people don't know what bisco is, though. Yeah. Instant gravy. Yeah. Or, um, bovril, you know, that kind of Ye Oh, beefiness. the bovril, yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, actually much more like bovril, now that I think about it. Almost done. done. I can smell it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Very nice. We're just going to be trying this straight. The only thing we're adding are the. Uh, well, you can add anything you like, but I thought I'd give you know. I'd give it center stage and flood it. Yeah, because we really want to get a taste for it. Oh, I'd say it would be very nice, you know, mixed up with cheese and tomatoes. Oh, and... cheese. We actually don't have any cheese. No. Lettuce. Yes. But we can get another pack and do that. Absolutely. I would definitely 100% buy this again. I'm hoping the price point comes down so I can use this instead of mm -hmm. ground beef. Uh, yeah, they're new products, so obviously the prices yeah. are going to be high. But when they get the, the their techniques down and more people start buying them, you'll see the price drop. And of course, you know, there's more competition coming into it now as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And stir the crumble. Light as cook. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. I'd say you can almost turn off the heat. Yeah. yeah. It'll stay hot enough. Isn't that a delicious, fresh looking tortilla? With its weird shape. Uh huh. You know what we could also do? in the future is get some of it, run across to the Mexican, just get a couple of their, they do beautiful tortillas. They do. And just add some vegetables and cheese to it and and their tortillas are fresh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we said for hot homemade tortillas though. Yeah.
And doesn't that look like ground beef cooked? It's steaming it hot. Absolutely. And it acts like ground beef. Mm hmm Yeah. What do you think, Joseph? I don't think that's good. Yeah, I don't know. Ready. Mmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It's got just enough. Moisture in it. Mm -hmm. It's really, really nice. Absolutely. You want to try yours? Okay. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, under normal circumstances, you would be adding tomatoes and cheese and lettuce. Lettuce and everything else, yeah. Good? Mm-hmm. Mm. I love the spices they use. Yeah, and I don't think there are many, uh, you know, normal, like, taco spices mm -hmm. wouldn't conflict with the spices that they've got in there to form the ground beef. No. No, not really. The spices would go really well in this, and I didn't add anything at all. Yeah. Paprika or any of that. So this is definitely... Definitely a hit. a hit, and it's very, very fast, faster than ground beef. Oh, way faster! Yeah, in fact, you, you couldn't walk away from it. Absolutely, very easy. Okay, thanks for watching. <laughs>